Hello everyone and welcome back to our nine month ultimate world cruise adventure here on Serenade of the Seas. We're almost halfway done with this amazing journey and we're going to do something today that a lot of you've been asking for. We're going to give you an updated room tour of our 170 square foot mansion that we've been living in. Now is it calm or is it chaos? <laughs> welcome to Living Phase 2. Hi, I'm Nancy and Mike is behind the camera today, but we want to begin by showing you as a reminder, we are on the ninth floor forward. Come on, let's take a look at our room. Well, so come on in. Let's see how our room looks after being on the ship for four and a half months. Hi, everybody. Well, welcome to our cabin. Here's where we've been for the last four and a half months here and how we are now living. On this side, we have, this is kind of our come and go wall where we have our hats, our sunglasses, our little travel, my little travel bag for my water bottle and everything is stored on the little magnetic hooks that we brought along. Here's sunscreen, bug spray, eyeglasses cleaner up here in the little metallic shelf. Everything we need to, when we leave and come back into the room. Now on the right side is the bathroom, which we'll get to later, but on the left side here is our closet. Now our closet has gotten a little bit tighter because we have added a few more clothes as we've gone uh, throughout the last four and a half months. One of the things I wish I would have brought along was a little, few more nicer clothes to wear to the main dining room. Um, so we've picked up a few items along the way, as well as additional t-shirts, sweatshirts, things like that. This is Mike's half of the closet and he's got his belts and ties there. Down below, we've got a laundry basket for dirty laundry. Up above, we have the uh, excursion books up there. We also have a portable printer, which has been invaluable to us. We have needed that throughout this trip, as well as computer paper. On in the middle area, we've got our little pull-out baskets. These have helped keep so many of our clothes organized. Everything's very well labeled here. Mike has the top four and I've got the bottom four. It's just very easy to find items. On the floor on my side, I've got like the tied laundry pods and dryer sheets, things like that, which I got way too much of because um, uh, Royal has been doing a great job with our laundry. I do the delicates or things that I'm afraid might shrink, but Royal does all the rest of our clothes. So moving on into the room, here is our my vanity for makeup and hair. And this is also Mike's office. That's where he edits the videos. We also run our business back in Michigan. And so he does a lot of computer work right here. My personal favorite item on this whole area is our photo frame that our children are able to upload pictures to regularly. So I can see all the grandbabies, I can see the kids, and um, the picture changes like every 20 seconds or so, and I love that. All right, I'm actually gonna let Mike tell you more about this section here. Well, thanks, Nancy. Yes, this area right in here gets a lot of work in our cabin. Not only is it Nancy's vanity and makeup area, it's also the area that is my office and it's where I do all the work to take care of our business back in Michigan. So many of you know, we do still own a business. We're running it from the ship. Uh, it's a catering business. So our delivery times are a little long when we're especially all the way around the world. But no, we have a great team and a general manager manager, but we do stay connected and watch the financials. We do the books, things like that from the ship. Well, some people have asked us, well, aren't you concerned about you, you know, your financial data, etc., when you're operating it from the ship? Well, we're not because we use a VPN, a virtual private network. And that brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark VPN. We use Surfshark VPN for two main reasons. One, as I mentioned, it encrypts the data coming from our computer anywhere in the world back to the computers that it's working with. And the second and really even better function that it does, it allows us to virtually relocate our computer anywhere in the world to over 3,000 servers that Surfshark supports. So all you have to do is tell it where you want to be, such as we say we want to be back in the United States with our computer. We hit connect and just like that, every other computer in the world thinks our computers in the United States. And this is really important because 
our email servers, as an example, for work, will not even download email to a computer that's not in the United States. So that allows us to get all our work email. Secondly, it allows services that uh, will only, or what's called geo-limited, they will only allow us to watch content potentially if we're in the United States. So as an example, when we were release recently in China, we couldn't use a lot of our apps. We fired up Surfshark, relocated virtually our computer to the United States and all of our apps, Google Maps, YouTube, everything worked perfectly just like it should. So that's what the benefits, and if you're a world traveler, you need a VPN like Surfshark VPN. And even better, if you use code living phase or scan the QR code that you see on your screen or click the link in the description, you can get three months free of Surfshark. So we hope you give it a try. Well, let me finish taking you through this area. One thing that we found that's really interesting, if you're on a cruise ship, and especially if you're working on a cruise ship, I have my laptop here, but the television in the room can actually swing around like this, and I have it connected via an HDMI cable to my laptop, and guess what? That makes two screens, so now I can use the TV in the room as a second monitor, and when you're doing things like editing videos, working with spreadsheets, that can be immensely invaluable. Well, let me show you the rest of this area here. Down here, we have the refrigerator. This area right here is Nancy's side and it's drawers that we contain, oh, socks, underwear, those kind of things. And this one is my side. The middle we just use for general items. Uh, we've got a few things in there, um, you know, like some medicine, those kind of things. Now there are two cabinets up here, and this one right here contains a tea kettle that was provided by Royal Force. So we can always have hot water. It has teacups, different things. So if you want to have any tea or coffee, this side has our different mugs and things that we use. Like we've got some insulated wine glasses, the uh, beverage cups for Royal Caribbean. And let me go ahead and take you onto this side. So coming around this way, this cabinet here, well, let's not let it scare you, <laughs> but inside this cabinet, on the very bottom is the safe, and everything else we have in this cabinet has to do with all our video and cables and chargers and everything that goes into it. I've got my scuba logbook, but really this is all the things like underwater cameras. It's everything that we need to record everything about the ultimate world cruise here and that's what we keep in this cabin it looks a little messy but uh, it's got our own little organization system to it coming around this way we have one of these um, three basket containers so in this one we have things like extra sunglasses we've got like a money bag um, you know a money belt um, i have a really long usb cable so when i use my action camera and i want to keep it recording and hook an external battery up to it i can and then the top one has all our adapters so when we go off the ship we have electrical adapters for every country that we're visiting and that keeps all organized in here this is one of the areas that some people said, wow, that looks really messy, but this is actually immensely organized and helps us tr uh, tremendously as we're doing excursions and planning things off the ship. What this is, it's all of our things that are upcoming. So as an example, we have a bus ticket to go into Saigon. We have some information on what we have to do to enter into Singapore. We have information on upcoming events on the world cruise here. Some of our laundry tickets we keep here. And we keep these all with these magnetic clips. And so as we come up to a new area or a new um, journey, we'll pull things out of those notebooks that you've seen and we'll pull the next week or so out. We'll hang it on the wall. So that morning when we're ready to get off the ship, we grab it off the wall and we're ready to go. And we're always completely organized right here and we can see what's coming. Well, I'm going to hand it back to Nancy. She's going to take you around the rest of the room. Here is another item that we've been so grateful to have here. And it's kind of our, our shoe tree that holds most all of our shoes here. Um, people have asked, why do you need that many pair of shoes? Well, we've got shoes for, for formal night. I've got two pairs of tennis shoes. We're on this trip for nine months. Uh, that's a lot. And we do a lot of walking. Uh, water shoes, just some deck shoes, flip flops for going to the pool. And it just, it adds up quickly, friends. It really does. So anyway, our shoe tree, it works out well. Uh, this is Mike's, what we call clarty clothes, half clean, half dirty that he wants to wear again a second time. He puts up here. 
And then as we come on around, we're, we're at the balcony. I'll take you outside. Okay. So here is our balcony and this, I love having a balcony. I, I enjoy being able to come outside, seeing what the weather is like or how hot or cold it is. It's a standard size balcony, so it's two chairs and a table. We have little chair clips out here for drying our swimsuits or something else that we want to dry very quickly. From our balcony, we have a great view of the front of the ship as well. Come back in, I will show you the rest of the cabin. Well, we are on Mike's side of the bed now, and we have our binoculars hanging from a hook. Remember, the ceilings are, are metal, and so the magnetic hooks hook well to the ceilings. He's got his hat here and his iPad, his phone charger, watch charger, a little nightstand there. And then we'll move along to my side of the bed. Now we're on my side of the bed and I have my clergy clothes hanging here. I've got a shawl and scarves and I've got my CPAP all hanging with a hook, magnetic hooks, and that seems to work very well. This little table here was when we entered into the room initially is normally at the foot of the couch and I've just swung it around. It fits here nicely and holds my CPAP. Now let me tell you what we have under the bed here. In the center of the bed is Mike's scuba equipment. My snorkeling equipment is right in the middle of the bed. At the head of the bed, we've got a large suitcase. We have um, winter coats in the suitcase, things like that. Around the edge of the bed, on Mike's side, we've got a couple roller bags. So if we're off the ship for a night, we've got roller bags. We've got our day packs are under the bed. He's got a pair of hiking boots. Coming along this edge and this edge, we have our pull-out drawers that uh, hold our extra items like our, our consumables, our extra shampoo, deodorant, toothpaste, vitamins, uh, medications that we think we might need. There's also things like our gaffer tape, our um, so little sewing kit is there, and my CPAP supplies are there as well. Okay, so let's leave the bedroom and come into the lift come into the living room. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> so again, we have a standard balcony. It's 170 square feet. So with a standard balcony, you get a little love seat and with the extended ones, you get a full size couch. Um, so we've got our tiny little love seat here. There's a little shelf behind it. On the shelf, we've got two ottomans. We had initially planned to have those at the foot of the couch, just did not have room for them, but they sit here quite well. This one holds our wine. This one holds our uh, souvenirs of the Christmas ornaments that I've been getting, uh, Mike's patches over here. This is our, our pantry. <laughs> so sometimes we have a little bit of extra foreign currency. And a lot of times, right before we come on the ship, there's a convenience store. So if we got a few coins or, or just a little bit, we might buy a bag of chips or, we stopped at a bakery and got some little baked goods on this wall. Again, almost kind of a junk drawer kind of thing. This uh, hair accessories, waterproof watches, um, Mike's multiplier. He has to fix things, a screwdriver. Sometimes he is fixing things. So he is grabbing that uh, band-aids, um, uh, a missile for our for Sundays, Ziploc baggies. These are, bags are so important. All kinds of bags are um, in this uh, little cubby here. And then moving right along the wall here, we've got, we've got some hats here. I've got my hats, a couple little purses tucked in here. Um, some more hair accessories, uh, medicine are in this area. We've got cards, games, a little more sunscreen here. I call this my grab and go bag. It has um, my current counted cross stitch project is inside here. There's a couple of books inside here. I'll just throw my cell phone, um, some earbuds in here and take it and go when I'm ready to. And then as we continue to come down the room, 
now we are back to the bathroom <laughs> so let's step inside the bathroom as you go in right here we've got our our name tags our magnetic name tags are stuck to the wall that are world cruise name tags that we put on at the beginning of each segment so people get to know one another these hooks are permanently attached to the door the hold towels our robes uh, here's another magnetic hook that we've added and as you step inside here our little shower this is a shelf from ikea that has suction cups that holds mike's razor and shaving cream We've got our little scrunchy pads here extra sh our shampoo and um and body wash uh, that are mine royal has a shampoo body wash combo that they provide as well as soap and then as you continue to come in here we've got just kind of our daily over-the-counter medicines are here as well as uh, some stain stick for clothing that we might need this <laughs> several of you have asked why is there toilet brush on your wall well friends it's not a toilet brush we brought some of our own uh drinking glasses our wine cups and so it's actually it's a bottle brush it's to clean the cups and these are little straw cleaners there so that's what that is the toilet brush is down below the toilet area here okay well coming around to the side of our massive bathroom here i've got um, makeup and items that i use on a regular basis in the shelf mike has some of his regular items that he uses on shelving that is behind the mirror this mirror is the only one that opens up the mirror on the other side does does not is right against the wall but on this mirror we've got little suction cups toothbrush holders that have been great as well as a little suction cup razor blade there and down below there's a shelf now listen people will ask what is this thing it's actually because we've got a trash can down below here with a liner in it this truly is a second trash can i bet i'd only put paper items i guess really mike and i just use the trash can with the liner and we have another laundry hamper there at the top once again we're using the ceiling i've got uh, my hair curler is hooked up to the top so this is we've got a lot of things in our little bathroom <laughs> Well, friends, thank you so much for coming along on the tour of our mansion, yeah. our 170 square foot cabin here on Serenade of the Seas. Mm -hmm. And we're just glad to have you that these are items. These are all, everything we showed you we use on a regular basis. I yeah. think we did a pretty good job in planning. I think we did too. Yeah, like Nancy said, there's not a lot here that we really don't use. So, yeah. yeah. Well, and we'd also like to be sure to thank the sponsor of today's video once again, <laughs> Surfshark. So click the link in the description down below for three months free or use the code LIVINGPHASE and uh, you can get that three months free as well. All right, friends. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.